Have you ever had to use a Fresnel on a cylinder shape, say for like a beam effect, and everything looks great until you look at it from that angle? Here's a solution on how to turn that mess into something that looks good no matter the angle. Depending on the engine or shader editor you're using, you might have a magical Fresnel node that gives you an alright look. Screw that node. A Fresnel effect is achieved by calculating the dot product of the view angle and the vertex normal in world space. Using Amplify Shader Editor, it looks like this. The result of this calculation returns a value between minus 1 and 1. The more that a polygon is facing the view direction, the higher the value. If a polygon is perfectly perpendicular to the view, then the value is 0. And if a polygon is facing away from the camera, the value is minus 1. The problem with our energy beam, or any cylinder that uses a Fresnel effect, is that when viewing the beam from almost the same direction that it's pointing to, our polygons start facing away from the camera. So how can we fix this? By rotating the vertex normals before the dot product. In order to do that, we're going to need to send the direction in which the cylinder is pointing to the shader. Since I'm spawning this beam with a particle system, all I have to do is give it a tiny bit of velocity in the direction it's pointing. I then enable the Velocity Custom Vertex Stream to send that direction to the shader and normalize it. If the nature of your cylinder is different and cannot be spawned from a particle system, you could simply expose a Vector3 parameter and type the values by hand or have some kind of code to update that. Next. I get the cross product between the view direction and our cylinder's forward vector and normalize it. Also that I can plug it into a rotate about axis node as the rotation axis. What we want to rotate is the vertex normal, so I am plugging that into position. So now we have a rotation axis that constantly updates itself based on the view direction. Next, we need to calculate the rotation angle. All we need for this is to get the dot product of the view direction and the forward vector. Finally, we calculate the dot product between those rotated normals and the view direction. And that's it! Plug everything where we had our normal Fresnel earlier. Quite simple. There might be a simpler solution that doesn't require a rotate about axis node, but I haven't found one yet. I'm too dumb and I just sort of brute force my way through complicated stuff until it works. Enjoy making energy beams and thanks for watching.